yes good morning students then in the first year we see the first topic is atomic structure the first topic is atomic structure its mass weight is 8 mark weight its mass weight is 8 mass weight is now in this atomic structure so it is uh, very easy topic and uh, now then today we discuss some fundamental topics that is first atomic number atomic number here atomic number means the number of electron present in the atom is called atomic number so now first atomic number what is the definition of atomic number the number of electron present in the atoms are called atomic number this atomic number is denoted by symbol z where z is called atomic number so what is the definition of atomic number the number of electron present in the atoms are called atomic number next mass number here mass number means it is sum of equal to atomic number and neutron number mass number it is sum of equal to atomic number and neutron number or called mass number the next one wavelength here wavelength means the distance between two successive crust or tuff or called wavelength the distance between two successive crust or tuff or called wavelength so in this one here the distance between two successive crust or tuff or called wavelength here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 in this one this is vibrating source this is direct direction of propagation in this one 2 4 10 2 4 are called crust here four after computer diagram four eight twelve are called tuff one three five seven are called nodes here a stands for amplitude of the wave waves a stands for amplitude of the waves so this is wavelength so what is the definition of wavelength the distance between two successive crust or tuff are called wavelength that the wavelength is denoted by lambda wavelength is denoted by lambda now in this diagram 2 6 10 are called crust 4 4 3 continue 8 12 16 are called tuff 1 3 5 7 are called nodes a is called amplitude of the waves it is denoted by lambda uh it is denoted by lambda so its units are wavelength units are angstrom centimeter meter nanometer and so these are the units of wavelength one angstrom equal to this is very very important for uh, problem one angstrom equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter equal to 10 power minus 10 meter one nanometer equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 centimeter or 10 to the power of minus 9 meter one one millimicron equal to 10 to the power of minus 4 centimeter and 10 to the power of minus 6 cent minus 6 meter so this is very the next one frequency so here frequency means it is defined as a number of wave which pass through a point a point in 
वन सेकेंड इसका फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी इज डिनोटेड बाई न्यू फ्रीक्वेंसी इज डिनोटेड बाई न्यू न्यू इक्वल टू सी बाई लैमडा न्यू इक्वल टू सी बाई लैमडा वे न्यू इक्वल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी सी इक्वल टू वेलासिटी ऑफ लाइट सी इक्वल टू वेलासिटी ऑफ लाइट लैमडा इक्वल टू वेले तो ऑलरेडी डिस्कस लैमडा इक्वल टू वेले दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी द नेक्स्ट वन वेव नंबर here wave number means it is denoted by this is new it is denoted by new bar it is denoted by new bar that new bar symbol is this one it is denoted by new bar so that means here lambda equal to wavelength that means this wave number is the reciprocal of is the reciprocal of wavelength that wave number is a reciprocal of wavelength its units are centimeter inverse or meter inverse its units are centimeter or meter inverse this is few fundamental so what is atomic number atomic number means the number of electron present in the atoms are called atomic number that atomic number is denoted by symbol z the next one mass number That mass number it is sum of equal to atomic number is sum of equal to atomic number and neutron number. It sum of equal to atomic number and neutron number. So here z equal to atomic number, n equal to neutron number. Mass number is denoted by symbol a. The next one is wavelength. Wavelength means the distance between two successive crust or crust are called wavelength. In the neighbor diagram, two six ten are called crust, four eight twelve are called crust. One three five seven are called loads. A are called amplitude of the waves. So this wavelength is denoted by angstrom, centimeter, meter, and nanometer. Now in this one, one angstrom equal to ten to the power of minus eight centimeter or ten to the power of minus ten meter. One nanometer equal to this is very very important for or uh, useful for problem. One nanometer equal to ten to the power of minus seven. Ten to the power of minus nine. One millimicron equal to ten to the power of minus four and ten to the power of minus six meter. Now, what is frequency? It is defined as the number of waves which pass through a point in one second. It's called frequency. The frequency is denoted by nu. The nu symbol is this one. Nu equal to c by lambda. The c equal to velocity of light. Lambda equal to wave. There are three things already discussed. Wave number. It is denoted by nu bar. It is denoted by nu bar. That means it is the reciprocal of wave. It is the reciprocal of wave. So its units are centimeter inverse and meter inverse. So this is few fundamental topics. The next one, isotopes. Next one is isotopes. Here, isotope means same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. Account, for example, hydrogen isotopes are three types. Hydrogen isotopes are three types. That is, rhodium, deuterium, and tritium. So here, isotope means same element. For example, rhodium H one one. H one two, H one three. So this is rhodium, this is deuterium, this is tritium. That means same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. Same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. Akar isotope. So here neutron numbers are. One minus one equal to zero here. Two minus one equal to one here. Three minus one equal to two. This is isotope. That means one minus one equal to zero. Two minus one equal to one. Three minus one equal to two. This is isotope. Isotope means same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. Are called isotope. This is rhodium, deuterium, 
3dm. So here neutron numbers are 0, 1, 2. Neutron numbers are 0, 1, 2. Now let us another example for oxygen. For example, oxygen atomic number, here oxygen, here 8, here 16, here oxygen atomic number 8, here 17, oxygen atomic number 8, here 18. So this is few examples of oxygen. Oxygen in this one, same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. But different mass number are called isotope. So what is the neutron number? 16 minus 6, uh, sorry, 8, 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8 equal to 8. Here, 17 minus 8 equal to 9. Here, 18 minus 8 equal to 10. So that means that neutron numbers are generally 8, 9, 10. Neutron numbers are generally 8, 9, 10. So this is compound having same element, same atomic number, same element, but different mass number are called isotope. Now let us another example. Here, isobar. Next one, isobar. Isobar. Here isobar means uh, compound having different different elements, different different elements, different different atomic number, but same mass number. But same mass number are called isobar. Now let us follow a few examples. In this one, argon. Argon atomic number is 80, it is 40. The next one, potassium. Potassium atomic number is Potassium atom number is 90, here 40. The next one calcium. Calcium atom number is 20, here 40. What is the definition of isobar? Different different element, different different atomic number, but same mass number are called isobar. Generally, here atomic number 18, 19, 20, mass number 40, all are 40. That means different different element, different different atomic number, but same mass number are called isobar. So in this one, uh, this is isobar. Now let us another example for isobar. Uh, germanium 3276. Germanium 32 and 76. And silicon. Silicon, sorry, selenium 3476. Different, different element. Different, different atomic number. But say mass number. But say mass number are called isobar. Different different element, different different uh, atomic number, and same mass number are called isobar. The next one, isotopes. Third one is isotopes. Isotopes. What is the definition of isotope? For example, now let us for example, silicon. Silicon atomic number is 14. Here. 30, phosphorus, here 15, 31, and another example, uh, sulfur, 16, 32, 16 and 32. So what happened for the, this one? Different different elements, different different atomic number, different different mass number, but neutron numbers are same. That means here 30 minus 14 equal to 16. Here 31 minus 15 equal to 16. Here 32 minus 16 equal to uh, 32 minus 16 equal to 16. So that means what are the different different elements, different different atomic number, different different mass number, but same neutron number. But same neutron number are called isotopes. But same neutron number are called isotopes. This is Isotope, isomer, isotopes. So what is the definition of isotopes? Different different elements, sorry. Same element, same atomic number, but different mass number are called isotopes. These isotopes are three types. Hydrogen isotopes are three types. That is protium, deuterium, tritium. A neutron numbers are generally 0, 1, 2. Oxygen isotopes are 8, uh, oxygen. 
thousand equal to much? Eight into three plus two. Here six plus twenty four plus two thirty nine. So that's why BO three minus three is iso electronic with CO three minus two. BO three minus BO three minus three is iso electronic with CO three minus two. Do you know what are they? Both the total thirty two thirty two electrons is there. That's why BO three minus three and CO three minus two both are iso electronic now. Now let us another example of iso electronic. Here. NS3 and NS3 plus BS3. NS3 plus BS3. How many electrons here? Nitrogen seven plus hydrogen three. So total how much here? Ten. Next boron. Boron how much? Five. Plus hydrogen how much? Three. Equal how much? Eight. The total how much? Eighty electrons. Total eighty electrons. At the same time, C two H six. Next one, C two H six. So how many carbons here? Six. Uh, the two carbon. Atomic number of carbon is six. Six into two equal to twelve. How many are there? Six. Six into one equal to six. The total number here eighty. That means this N S three plus B S three is iso electronic with C two. Let's see. So now, what is the definition of iso electronic? That means same number of electronic configurations are called iso electronic. Same number of electronic configurations are called iso electronic. This is uh, what is iso two? Count the same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. Same element, same atomic number, but different mass number. It is called rhodium, tritium, tritium. Generally, numeral numbers are. Minus this minus one minus one two minus one three minus one zero one two also now also same thing. I saw that different different elements different different element different different atomic number but same mass number. That all I saw that I saw two different different element different different atomic number different mass number but neutral number is same neutral number is same. That all I saw two I saw that all. Same the same number of electronic configurations are called iso electronic. Same number of electronic configurations are called iso electronic. Now in this one, you have to compulsory remember thirty element electronic configuration. You have in the whole uh, first year chemistry, you have to remember compulsory thirty element electronic configuration. The next one is. Hydrogen spectrum lines. Hydrogen spectrum lines. These hydrogen spectrum lines are basically five types. That is, Lehmann series, Baumer series, Fasser series, and then P one series. So these are spectrum lines are following types. That is one Lehmann series. Second one, Baumer series. Third one, Fasser series. Fourth one, Bracket series. And fifth one, P1 series. P1 series. So, what is the definition of Lehmann series? Now, in this one, for example. Now hydrogen spectrum lines. These hydrogen spectrum lines are five series. That is, Lehmann series, Baumer series, Fasser series, Bracket series, and Fun series. Lehmann, Baumer, Fasser, Bracket, Fun. So what is the definition of Lehmann series? In this one, now let us Lehmann series. What is the definition of Lehmann series? In this series of line, in this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to first orbit, higher orbit to first orbit, in this series of line, 
in this series of line in this series of line when an electron when an electron jumps from jumps from higher orbit to higher orbit higher orbit to lower orbit higher orbit to lower orbit that is n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 2 3 so on this series is belongs to uv of electromagnetic radiation this series is belongs to uv of electromagnetic radiation so what is the lemon series in this series of line when an electron jumps from higher higher orbit to first orbit higher orbit to first orbit that is n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 2 3 4 5 6 so n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 2 3 4 so on so this series of line belongs to uv of electromagnetic radiation the next one and second one is Bomber series. So, what is Bomber series? In second one, Bomber series. So, what is the Bomber series? See, as it is, in this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to second orbit. In this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to second orbit. So, here, n1 equal to 2, n2 equal to 3, 4, so on. This series of line belongs to this series of line belongs to visible of electromagnetic radiation. Visible of electromagnetic radiation. The next one, third one is fashion series. Third one is fashion series. What is fashion series? This is fashion series. In this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to third orbit, higher orbit to third orbit, that is. N1 equal to 3 and N2 equal to 4, 5, so on. This series is belongs to this series is belongs to near IR of electromagnetic radiation. Near IR. Near IR of electromagnetic radiation. So this is fashion series. What happened in the bracket series? Now fourth one is bracket series. So here bracket series means so this is bracket series. In this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to 4, that is n1 equal to 4, n2 equal to 5, 6, so on. This series is belongs to just IR of electromagnetic radiation. This is IR of electromagnetic radiation. The last one, fifth one is P fun series. What is fun series? In this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to 5th, that is n1 equal to 5, n2 equal to 6, 7, so on. This series is belongs to far IR of electromagnetic radiation. Far IR of electromagnetic radiation. This is hydrogen spectrum lines. These hydrogen spectrum lines are which are passed into 4 types, sorry, 5 types. That is Lyman series, Bauer series, Fashion series. Bracket series and fun series. Lemon series means in this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to first, higher orbit to first, that is n1 equal to 1, n2 equal to 2, 3, 4, and then this series is belongs to, this series is belongs to UV of electromagnetic radiation. So this series is belongs to, this series is belongs to what happened? UV of electromagnetic radiation. Now, what is second one is Bomber series. In this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to second orbit, higher orbit to second orbit, here n1 equal to 2, n1 equal to 2, n2 equal to 3, 4, 5, so on. So, this series is belongs to visible of electromagnetic radiation. Visible of electromagnetic radiation. Then, fashion series. So, what about fashion series in this series of line, when an electron jumps from higher orbit to Higher orbit to third, that is n1 equal to 3, n2 equal to 4, 5. This series is belongs to near IR of electromagnetic radiation. So, what happened in the bracket series? In this series of time, an electron jumps from higher orbit to higher orbit to 4. 
So it is very very interesting topic and very easy topic. So what is the definition of orbitals? The space around the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum are called orbital. The space the space around the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum are called orbital. These orbitals are four types: s orbital, p orbital, d orbital, and then f orbital. Now, first let us s orbital. Here, s orbital means in this s orbital, here n equal to zero and n equal to one. N equal to one. These S orbital shape is spherical in shape. S orbital shape is spherical in shape. That spherical means this is spherical. It has no nodal plane. No nodal plane. It has no nodal plane for for no nodal plane for one s, two s. Respectively. So this is S R. So what is that S R? In this S R dal, y equal to zero, y equal to one. Its shape is spherical in shape. That spherical means like this one. It has no nodal plane for one s, two s, three s, respectively. The next one, p r. So what is p r? Here, n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to one, n equal to two, three, four, so on. Like that. These p r are say this dumbbell in shape. These p r are say this dumbbell in shape. We are also this dumbbell in shape. The dumbbell means this is dumbbell. So this pyramid is designated as there are three orbitals. So this is one, two, three. So this is P S. This is P Y. This is P J. P S, P Y, P J. So in this one, this is one half. This is another half. That means this loop is two. It contains two loops. It contains two loops and one nodal plane. One nodal plane. One nodal plane. This is P R. The next one. What happened in the D R? So here next D R. So in this D R the Here, n equal to zero, n equal to one. Here, n equal to two, and n equal to three. N equal to three, four, like that. This D R L series double dumbbell. Double dumbbell. Double dumbbell shape. That double dumbbell means. So this is dumbbell. This is double. Dumbbell. So here, this is one, two, three, four. It contains four loops. It contains four loops and two, one, two, two nodal plane, two nodal plane. 
this orbital is designated as in this one orbital is designated as so this p orbital is designated as this one so this is this is d x y d x y this is d y z this is d z x this is d x square minus y square this is d z square so that means in the d r there are five orbitals that five orbital is designated as d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square and d z square among these three the, the, the among these five the first three orbitals are called T to G set. The first three orbitals are called T to G. Other two are called E G. Other two are called E G. Now F R. So here F R dot nothing but F R dot. In this F R dot, E L equal to three. E L equal to three and uh, n equal to 4 n equal to 3 n equal to 4 f for all say this 4 fold number or complex f for all say this complex is such a or 4 fold number or 4 fold number 4 fold number 4 fold number how represented that 4 fold number so this is dumbbell sorry so four bull dumbbell means this is dumbbell double dumbbell three bull dumbbell four bull dumbbell how many rows one two three four five six seven eight it contain eight loops and three nodal plane three nodal so this is F orbital. So what is orbital? The space around the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum are called orbital. These orbitals are for them. S orbital, P orbital, D orbital, F orbital. In S orbital, L equal to 0, L equal to 1. SR set is spherical in shape, it is spherical structure. In SR there is no nodal plane. In SR there is no nodal plane for 1s, 2s, 3s respectfully. PR In this PR here n equal to 1, n equal to 2, the PR set is dumbbell in shape. The dumbbell is like this one. So the PR is designated as. P R one is designated as P X, P Y, P Z. So it contains one, two, two loops and one nodal plane. D R one. In this D R one, L equal to two, L equal to three. D R one shape is double 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 in shape. The double double means like this one. So this is double. This is double double. Dash four loops. One, two, three, four. Four loops and two nodal plane. The DR is designated as DXY, DYZ, DX, DX square minus Y square and DX square. Among these 1, 2, 3, first 2, 3 are called T to G set, other 2 are called EG set. The next one F R. This F R L equal to 3, L equal to 4. It is complex of 4 bull dumbbell. The 4 bull dumbbell means like this one. It has 8 loops and 3 nodal plane. So this is orbital. So what is what are the uh, today topic we discuss how many topics basically first atomic number. Atomic number means the number of electron present in the atom are called atomic number. It is denoted by Z, mass number. It is sum of equal to atomic number and neutron number. The next one after uh, mass number we discuss wavelength. 
the distance between such a surface or tough are all very very is denoted by lambda lambda units are angst from meter centimeter nanometer millimeter after that frequency after that uh, what is wave number wave number means what is it is denoted by nu bar the nu bar means it is the reciprocal of wave it is the reciprocal of wave after that what happen isotopes same isotope means same element same atomic number but different mass number are called isotopes so isotope the best example is protium deuterium tritium the next one isobar different different element different different atomic number but same mass number are called isobar isotopes different different element different different atomic number different mass number but nu bar numbers are same are called isotopes next iso electronic same number of electronic configurations are called iso electronics after that hydrogen spectrum lines these are only type four type sorry five type primer bomber fraser bracket funnel lemon series in the series of line where an electron jumps from higher order to first that is n1 equal to 1 n2 equal to 2 3 so on this series is belongs to uv of electromagnetic radiation bomber series in the series of line when an electron jumps from higher orbit to second that is n1 equal to 2 n2 equal to 3 4 like this series is belongs to visible of electromagnetic radiation fraction series If we get an series M one equal to three, M two equal to four five, this series is belongs to near IR of electromagnetic radiation. Bracket series is belongs to far IR of electromagnetic radiation. Just to IR of electromagnetic radiation. P one series it is belongs to far IR of electromagnetic radiation. After that we discuss R dal, S R dal, P R dal, D R dal, F R dal. So this is uh, uh, Arndals. So next uh, to be continue topic on next class. Okay, thank you.